Hi friends, this is Video Lancer. In this video tutorial, I will show you the way of face replacement in a video using a photo of another person. To do this task, we'll use face tools. It's a set of tools and presets for face footages that will expand considerably the features of standard face tracking from After Effects. To learn more about face tools features, I recommend you watching this video review. So let's start. Choose Ellipse tool on the toolbar and detect the face with a mask. Set Mask Mode to None. Right-click the mask and click Track Mask. Select Tracking Method with detailed features on the Tracker panel and click the Analysis button. After tracking, choose the frame where angle and mimics of the face will match the face on the photo best. Click Set Rest Pose on the Tracker panel and then click Extract and Copy Face Measurements. Now everything is ready for using any preset from the Face Tools library. Go to the Motion Bro panel and click Face Replacement. Open this Replacement Comp and here open Replacement Comp Holder. Insert the photo into this composition and place it so that it could best match reference outlines. Now go back to Replacement Comp. Add ellipse mask around the face for the holder layer. Make one or two frame tracking on the tracker panel. If the tracking is successful, these markers should appear on the face. They are required for puppet points correct positioning on the face and for rigging points to the tracking data. If the tracking is not successful, use this reference image to pin the points correctly. So, choose Puppet Pin Tools and pin the points on the holder composition in the same order as the markers are numbered. After that, you can remove Reference Points layer and Face Track Points effect as they are not required anymore. Select a holder composition and click Rig on the Motion Bro panel. After this action, all the puppet pins are linked to the data of face footage tracking. To hide the unnecessary part of the photo, set Alpha Map Mode by Face Mask Layer. If it is necessary, improve the size and the position of the face layer basing on the original image. Now, using curves and tint effects, change color correction for the best matching with the original footage. It would also be nice to change brightness of separate parts of the face on the photo so that light and shade could best match the lighting on the footage. You can do it directly in holder composition. To see the final result all the time, you can display the main composition on a separate screen. Well, it looks rather good on calm frames, but if an actor is speaking or turning their head, it becomes noticeable that it is just a texture on the face. To improve this, we'll use the eyes, the nose, and the mouth of the original footage. So, go to the holder composition. Switch mode of these masks on slip mask layer to difference. Now, improve the position and the shape of the masks according to the features of the face on the photo. Go back to the main composition. As you can see, the position of the eyes, nose, and mouth doesn't match the original footage. To improve this, we transform face parts. First, let's correct the eyes position. To do this, go to the category Transform on the Motion Bro panel and apply this preset. Open the preset composition. Here, you can shift, scale, and tilt the eyes on Settings layer. 
so transform the eyes of the original so that their position and size could match the target best. Now do the same steps for the nose and the mouth. It's nearly done. All that is left is to change greenish eyes to blue ones. To do this, go to Adjustment Masks category in Motion Bro Panel and apply Pupils Preset. Switch on Adjustment Layer Mode for the preset layer. Add Curves Effect into it and change the tint. Now open the preset composition and here correct the shapes of the masks so they match the shape of the eyes. That is all. Subscribe to my channel not to miss the new video tutorial in which I show you how to clean up skin defects on a face. Besides, there will be a lot of other tutorials about VFX and motion design. Well, that was Video Lancer. Bye.